Well, hello, friends. Thank you again for joining us. I've got my brother-in-law with me, William Bearfield, uh, Chaplain Bearfield. And uh, yesterday we talked about rules of engagement. He was telling us in Bosnia that uh, you had a right to shoot someone that was just stealing gas. Or stealing anything. That was the rule. Food, tendage. I mean, they needed these things, and sometimes uh, they stole and uh, but it was different in Afghanistan and Iraq. Right in Afghanistan and Iraq, uh, Afghanistan, we uh, waited till we were fired upon before we fired back, or we ran over a improvised explosive device, and then we could engage the enemy. And um, so, in other words, it, you knew if you looked out and really you saw people that you knew were the enemy, you could not shoot them unless correct. they shot at you first. That's correct. That's kind of a. Um, Right. Dangerous situation, isn't it? Yeah, it's not very aggressive. It leaves the uh, uh, the soldier being the hunted one, really, and uh, it's really, really tough. It's just... Well, I want us to think in a spiritual realm. Sometimes people treat our enemy, Satan, the devil, the same way. It's kind of like rules of engagement. We're not going to bother you if you don't bother me. You know, yeah. it doesn't work that way. It doesn't does work it? that way. He gonna, he's going to torment you anyway. He's going to be the aggressor. And uh, you need to follow the scriptures when it comes to the rules of engagement. You know, um, uh, resist the devil and he'll flee from you. You know, get rid of that guy. Right. Uh, if you tell him just to get behind you, he'll say, mm, look good back here too. <laughs> 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 you got to be aggressive uh -huh. and uh, pray. And you got to you got to know your enemy too, don't you? Oh my goodness, yes. You know, uh, always know your enemy. Uh, know the terrain. Is it a slow go, a no go, a fast go? Is it, it can can you get there quickly? What is your tools? You know, don't. Don't give up your tools. In the name of Jesus is your tool. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Don't give up your tools by saying, In thy precious name, O oh, great one up there somewhere in the far, far away place. That'd be like giving you a howitzer and a tank's aggressing you. And you don't, you say, Oh, nice howitzer. I'm not going to fire you. You would get all hot and bothered if I fire you. <laughs> well, the rules of engagement in in the spiritual world should be attack, attack. I sure. mean, Paul tells us he gives us he said we need to put on the whole armor, armor of, of God, God. Yeah. the whole armor of God, and that's not just to um, for show, and it's not just to uh, to 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 walk around to. I mean, it's for defensive purposes. You mean but it's not it's, just to look good. That's right. No, no. <laughs> but when I first became a lieutenant, I loved it. Boy, I could strut my stuff in that uniform. And then the first time I went out and started to do my job, and I got tears in it and rips in it and knees that went out, you know, uh, blood a little bit on it. Yeah, uh, I didn't strut so much then. I was uh, a bit humble. Well... Thank you for sharing with us on the rules of engagement part two, different places. And, and, and I think really in, in our spiritual realm too, um, even though there are, we need to use wisdom and when to engage and when not to engage That's in cool. the spiritual realm. That's right. And, and the Lord says we can pray for wisdom. If we ask, we will receive. And stay out of choke points. Choke points are when the enemy uh, puts you in an alley. And he has all the edges covered, and you have to go through that area. Uh, stay out of those choke points. People will set you up. The world will set you up. They'll say, come along with us. Oh, it'll be so much fun. <laughs> and you'll be in so much trouble. Thank you, Chaplain. Appreciate you being with us today. And he's going to be joining us uh, from time to time. And um, he's got great stories some in, that, that are very practical things that he experienced, but also that uh, how the Lord helped him through, uh, through battles and through very difficult situations. Stay with us. God bless you. We'll look forward to seeing you again tomorrow. Bye-bye.